Yamask is one of the most interesting Pokemon in all of the game. Because if you guys didn't know, in Yamask's Pokedex entry, he is actually the spirit of a human. But that is only one person in one spirit. So what about all the other Yamasks? Maybe they would have different typings than just Ghost. Let's find out what they would look like if they did. Let's start off with a type combo that just finally made it into the actual games. Ghost normal? Ghost normal. Ghost normal, okay. This Yamask is holding a worn out Poke oh, it's doll a little instead doll. of its mask which causes it to evolve into Stuffarigus. <laughs> that is a Snorlax, bro. That is so sick. I guess that would be the soul of a Snorlax. If a, if a Snorlax died, I don't, I don't know. This Yam mask is said to be the souls of deceased children who cling to the dolls or toys they owned in life. Oh, oh, that's Stuffarigus use giant dolls to hide in, where they lie in wait to capture their prey and drag them into their maw, never to be seen again. I feel like because Yam Mask is ghost, all of these are going to be ghost type, which means that all the lore behind them is going to be pretty spooky, so I apologize for that. While we're on the topic of deceased children, one we probably shouldn't stay on for <laughs> long, let's talk about the steel type Yam Mask from my own region, Cornera. It is said to be the spirits of miners' children who got oh. lost in the mine. They carry a pickaxe to try to be helpful to miners even in the afterlife. Oh, that's sweet. Corneran and Yamask evolves into a Miner Regus. Ooh. Miner Regus wants to help the miners as well, but just ends up spooking them instead. That is actually so sick. A ghost steel type. There's not many of those. There's Aegislash. That's about it. Keeping with the spooky origin stories, here is a poison type Yamask from Chris Roomba. Oh, it has a mask on it, dude. Oh, that's so cool. As you can tell, it's based on current events. Right. This right. Yamask is said to be the spirit of people who died from demonetized. When it evolves, it becomes Cough Agregus. <laughs> it okay, now inhabits it. a box of disposable face masks. It will approach passersby and strap a face covering on them. All right, that one, I don't really like that one. I'm going to be honest. I feel like that's... Some eh. think this is Cough Agregus trying like not to a suffocate Pokemon people, thing. But it is actually trying to warn them so that they don't share in its untimely fate. So that last Yamask was a bit of a parody. So let's go with another one. Meet this dragon type Yamask oh, by Anime Freak 9. Oh, Dragon Ball Pokemon, bro. That is so sick. I love Dragon Ball. It's one of my favorite animes. I really, really, really hope that he evolves into Shenron. Like a ghost version of Shenron. I would actually bet money that that's what's going to happen, and it's going to be epic. 96, 96. Come on, show me it's Shenron. It's a Yamask holding a Dragon Ball. In order to get it to evolve, you must defeat other oh, Yamasks yeah. holding you, different all seven star Dragon, Dragon Balls. Balls than your own. But once you do, it becomes Shenron. Shenrigus. Okay, I mean, that's not, it's not exactly what I was expecting. It's the idea, it's the right idea. I mean, it, I was hoping to be like blown away. I, I don't, I can't say that I am though, unfortunately. What's that one cat? It looks like that one like black cat meme thing. It will grant know. a single wish to the trainer who helped it evolve. Okay, my wish would be evolve in, again, into something way cooler. Evolve into God Shenron, please. <laughs> These two speak to my little weeb heart. And I love them so much. So we've had some fun. Also, shout out to Prag Magic for making this video. He makes a bunch of amazing videos that we react to all the time. So be sure to go ahead and check out his stuff. Yam asks, but how about an epic one? Check out like this epic. rock type Yam ask holding an old amber by Shiny Gar. Okay. Old amber, is that um, Aerodactyl? I think that's Aerodactyl's fossil. These Yam masks are drawn to the spirit inside the old amber. Their appearance has changed slightly due to the influence of the spirit inside the amber. When it evolves, it becomes. Reserigus. I knew it. That is Aerodactyl, bro. That is so sick. It's if Aerodactyl got revived as a ghost. So, like, he never uh, uh, unfossilized or whatever it would be called. Resurrected? I don't know. Oh, well, Reserigus, I guess, is resurrection. I don't know, but it's epic. The spirit of the Amber has now manifested itself and essentially fused with the Yamask to become this. That one is definitely the coolest one so far, in my opinion. It is as vicious as the Pokemon whose spirit inhabited the Amber. Next up, we have this grass type Ooh. Yamask by Gabriel Wait, Casado what Smeargle. What is he holding? It is holding a calabash gourd that is said to be able to capture spirits. Long ago, a pirate found a Yamask that had lost its mask, so he trapped it inside the gourd. It then grew to like the gourd and see it as its home and now carries it around. It evolves into Calabascus. Oh! It can use its flute to make a hallucinogenic herbal aroma. That, that is really cool, actually. It's been the cause of many people getting lost for days. It's like playing a flute. Or no, it's... 
Smoking the flute? I don't know. I don't do that stuff. That thing looks cool, though. I, I do like that Pokemon. For the fairy type, we have this Yamask from Malmasteps. Aww! It looks like it can be psychic type, too. Like, that's a little eyeball down there, it looks like. Like, that is, it looks like it's holding an eyeball. It is holding an item called the Arceus' Eye. An item called the Arceus' Eye or Arceus' Eye? Like, what? Because if it is Arceus' Eye, that is very creepy. Which is inspired by the Greek Evil Eye. But the Arceus' Eye has the power to cleanse the Yamask and make it pure. It evolves into Angerigus. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I normally don't like fairy types, but that is sick! That is by, I think, the coolest one so far. That one and the Aerodactyl one are both so cool. It is inspired by biblically accurate angels, which are terrifying and totally that, fit in ew, with this line. That is really creepy. I mean, angels, if you're listening to me, that you guys are beautiful. That's that's so beautiful. It's really ugly. Next, we have a few by The Aussie Artist. First is this bug type yeah, mask holding a gold scarab charm. Oh. It evolves into Scarabigus, dude. which is also inspired by man face. <laughs> that looks like a person. It looks like a dude from like a, a TV show. I forget who though. Beatles. Second is an ice. That, I actually, I, I, he's really going through these really quick. This is one of my favorite bug type Pokemon I've ever seen, I think. Like if that was in the game, I would, I, I'd be like, that's really cool. I like that. Bug and ghost? Heck yeah. Is there a bug ghost Pokemon? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I, I can't think of any. It's beetles. Second is an ice type yeah, mask holding a snowball. A snowball. And I'm sure you can tell what it's going to evolve into. It's for sure going to evolve into, what are they called? A snowman. So here is... Frosterigus. Yep. That reminds me of um Rotom a lot, like Rotom Mo. Love it though. That's really cool. I wish its nose was a carrot though, because that's what I do with mine, with my snowman. Epic though. That's super cool. This has a little bit of a uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas vibe to it. Let me know if you'd like me to do some Christmas themed Pokemon when it comes time. He should get his own move called like Snow Throw, Snowball Throw. Where you okay, I thought it was funny. Last from this artist is a Water type yeah, mask holding an Ooh. old sunken lock covered in kelp. It evolves it's like into Lockerigus. Oh. It is, of course, inspired by Davy Jones' Locker, which definitely fits in with this line. Now for a few by Devil D Man. First is this fire type yeah, mask, which has traded its old mask in for a tiki mask. I feel like this form isn't that cool, but I'm r I have really high hopes for the next form. It evolves into. Tiki yep. Regus. Dude, I knew it! Its old bro! mask now returns as an accent on its head. That is so sick. Are you kidding me? Oh my. Please, Pokemon. You gotta start adding this stuff to the game. That is so sick. Second is a dark type Yam yeah, mask, which is oh, holding a wooden stake. Look how angry he is. He looks so angry. It looks like someone just stole his pizza rolls. These Yam yeah, masks actually use this stake to defend themselves against their own evolution. It evolves into this more evil Ooh. version of Kafagrigus. I like that. I like that. I know that's not Gengar inside, but it kind of looks like Gengar a little bit. That is so creepy. I like that a lot. That one is one of my favorites too. These are just getting better and better. Oh my God. Little do the Yamask yeah know that the stake is actually what's causing them to evolve into this new form. So it becomes an evolutionary cycle of cat and mouse. <laughs> Last by Devil D-Man is this electric type yeah, mask holding this mysterious tape. I bet you can see where this is going. A camera? A After camera the yeah, mask watch the tape, they are drawn to the Jubilife TV station, where they evolve into Smara Regis. Oh, a TV. It is rumored that the TV station is covering up some victims claimed by Smara Regis. For our last few types, here are a few yeah, masks by Goombi. Goombi. First is this psychic type yeah, mask Ooh, holding a crystal. Okay, that one's a pretty obvious one for the yeah, mask to hold, but still pretty cool. Crystal ball. It's going to evolve into a uh, a witch crystal thing. Ball. It evolves into Gazerigus. Ooh, yes. They're both based on fortune tellers. I always wonder when Pokemon evolve, like, does it happen instantly? Like, how weird would that feel? It'd be like, Ugh. And then, ta-da, you're a new thing. Or, like, does it happen slowly? You know what I'm saying? These last two were actually a collaborative flying effort between and Goofy fighting. and I. First up is a flying-type yeah, mask holding a feather pillow. Ooh. It evolves into Featherigus. <laughs> They're based on cool. death crowns. In is that a nest? Is that a bird's nest? Appalachian folklore, death crowns, also called angel crowns, are clumps of feathers found in the pillows of people who died in their sleep. What? That is so creepy. They're measuring it. Why are you measuring it? Some say it means the person went to heaven. Others see it as a bad omen. Dude, For what? our last yeah, mask, here's a fighting type variant a holding a boxing on. glove. The boxing glove causes it to evolve into 
Bruiser Regis. Oh, yes! The MS eye marking is based on black eyes, oh. which, you know, are common in boxing. That's cool. Also, its tail looks like a spring-loaded boxing glove. And, and then it turns into is a, bog, a punching bag, dude. That is epic. Oh my god. Based on punching that is bags, so cool. but it is also a reference to body bags. Its body oh. is literally in the punching bag, and it is a reference to the exclamation, "He put that dude in a body bag." <laughs> Can you tell I'm proud of this one? I like it a lot. But that is it for today's video. Make sure to comment down below which Yacht Mask and Kafa Grigus was your favorite. I had so many that I loved. But if you did enjoy this video and want to watch another one, you know what to do. Make sure to go ahead and click right here.